Hello there, and welcome to the look for board with uh, me, Matthew, uh, filming this video for what I really, really hope is the last time. This is the third time I've filmed this. The first two times um, didn't work due to technical difficulties, and uh, the first time I filmed it in 720 with 60 frames per second, and my computer couldn't handle that. And then the second time I filmed it in just 720, and my computer couldn't handle that. So I'm coming to you now if all has gone well in the edit, in 480p, and hopefully everything will work out fine. Basically the point of this video is I wanted to address something which I seen on the internet the other day. It was a, a review, no, not a review, an interview with a famous pop star who's been in the charts a lot recently, and I really can't work out why she's been in the charts, but she has. Her name is... Rihanna, that's her name, and um, she she sings she sings songs that aren't particularly good. However, I read that she said in an interview, and I quote: "Sometimes this is Rihanna speaking. I had to just stop recording because the lyrics were too deep. They would leave me in tears." I'm guessing a few of you have heard of Rihanna. Just think back to some of the songs that she's sang in your head. Have you ever been moved to tears by them? No, no, me neither. So what I thought we would do, and what I thought I'd do, would be to make a video and take you through some of Rihanna's songs and look at her lyrics and see how many of us are moved to tears by the end of the video. Sound good? First one is called We Found Love. Shine a light through an open door. It's going well so far. Love and life I will divide. I've no idea what that means. She's gonna she'll separate love and life. Her love and her life can't mix. It's like oil and water. You just avoid it. She can't mix her love and her life. Turn away cause I need you more. I, d I, I don't really understand what she means by this because she says, I need you more, so she, she whoever this man is, she wants him really badly and she, she needs to have him because he's so great and she, she really she really wants him and, and, and she's saying to him, turn away. Which to me is odd because if I really wanted someone, I'd say, well I wouldn't say turn away because I'd want them to stay with me. So, Rihanna is twisted because she doesn't want the person she likes to stay with her. Then she said something that's really actually, it's quite worrying. Feel the heartbeat in my mind. Right, we'll deal with the feel the mind bit first. I don't know if Rihanna knows this, but the mind isn't a physical thing. You can't, you can't walk up to a mind and go... You can't do that. The mind is not a physical thing. Rihanna may think it's a physical thing. You may think it is, Rihanna, but it isn't. It's it's very much not a physical thing. And and, and then there's the feel the heartbeat in my mind. Now, you get heartbeats here, and you get your pulse in your wrists and in your neck. I've never had a heartbeat in my mind. That will probably be a tumour, Rihanna. I would hurry to your doctor to see about that. Next song is called Man Down. Man Down. Because I didn't mean to hurt him. Didn't mean to hurt him, that's fine. We don't know what's happened yet though, but she didn't mean to hurt him. Could have been somebody's son. Right. Could have been somebody's son, Rihanna? Could have been. Although quantum physics doesn't say that it can't happen, Maybe the only way he could have not been someone's son is if all the atoms had just formed spontaneously and made a man. Well, that could have happened, but Occam's razor would suggest that that wasn't what happened. Therefore, we have to sort of come to the conclusion that he probably was someone's son, or unless we're living in Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I'd probably put that more down to poor writing than her trying to pay tribute to a 20th century writer who wrote a startling vision of the future. And then she says something that's even, even weirder. And I took his heart when I pulled out that gun. Right. 
most people, when when the mugging, go, oh, you give me your money, give me your wallet, give me your watch, or your jewellery. Rihanna, do, Rihanna doesn't do that. She takes his heart when she pulls out the gun. Sort of makes the gun a bit redundant. I mean, he's going to die either way. I mean, for him, I, I mean, if it were me and someone was going, oh, give me your heart, and I'm like, oh, no, no. I would probably just rather be shot than have to rip open my own rib cage, go through the chest cavity and pull out my heart and present it to her. It'd probably be a hell of a lot quicker and less painful. Next one is a short, just a, a, a short extract from Umbrella. You can run into my arms. It's okay to be alarmed. Now, I... Alarmed, that's a really funny word to go into a song because words that normally go into songs are words like darling, baby, love, ooh, stuff like that. No, Rihanna says it's okay to be alarmed. I admire that, not admire, but I, I respect the fact that Rihanna is trying to be a bit more linguistic and a bit more complicated when she's writing a song. But it's okay to be alarmed, that's just, I mean it doesn't even properly rhyme with arms, it's... I mean, what about, you can run into my arms, you won't come to any harm. That's better, Rihanna. That is actually better than the rhyme you've come up with and actually makes more sense in the context of the song and it flows better. It's a bit like saying, if you find it a bit exotic, there's no need to be quixotic. It's just, it, it's a weird word to go into a song. Next one is called, um, Rude Boy. Come here, rude boy, boy, can you get it up? Okay. First line, aggressively sexual from Rihanna there. Come here, rude boy, boy, can you get it up? I'm not moved to tears by this lyric, I'm not, I'm not crying. Come here, rude boy, boy, is you big enough? In that line, it's not even the fact that it's, again, aggressively sexual that bothers me. It's not that, is you big enough? Maybe maybe it isn't even aggressively sexual. Maybe it's in, are you, str are you manly enough to get with this? Maybe that's what she's saying. But she said, is you big enough? Is you big enough? That, that's just really, really poor grammar. Is you big enough? What a stupid thing to say. Are you big enough or is it big enough? Not you can't mix it to you can't make up and speak English, Rihanna. Tonight I'm a let you be a rider. I'm a, by the way, mean I'm going to. Tonight I'm going to let you be a rider. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, babe. No idea. I wow wow want what you wah wah want, give it to me baby like boom boom boom. Give it to me baby like boom boom boom. I've never seen worse songwriting ever. Give it to me baby like boom boom boom. I think Rihanna's been reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Finally we have the song Rehab. This is a song about rehab. And I feel like O. It's like O. She feels like the letter O. You're the reason. So she's blaming whoever this is. You're the reason why I'm thinking. Right. I'm assuming the next line refers to the reason she's in rehab because it doesn't. It doesn't give you any hints to anything to do with rehab throughout the, the rest of the song. It says, I don't want to smoke on these cigarettes no more. She doesn't want to smoke anymore. And that's why Rihanna's gone to rehab. She's going to be surrounded by pale, thin people, not unlike me, who are going to be shaken because of a little withdrawal from heroin. And you're going to have alcoholics who are shaking with all the delirium tremens. And then you're going to have Rihanna and she's going to have to stand up and go, I am Rihanna and I have come to rehab because I smoke 20 a day. That's embarrassing, Rihanna. You can, 
you can do better than that. And even maybe Rihanna doesn't even bother about the fact that she's slowly inhaling toxins which will clog up her lungs and kill her. Maybe she's just worried that her, her hair will be smelly and she'll be, she'll be smelly and her clothes will be smelly and her house will be smelly and her furniture will be smelly. But in that case, she could, um, she could get one of those smokeless cigarettes that they sell now. They, 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 they give you the same amount of nicotine but they don't smell it. And maybe she is worried about, she, about the fact that she's killing herself. So she wants to get off them, but then you can get nicotine going. patches. These are all much better ways of stopping smoking, Rihanna, than humiliating yourself in rehab. I really wish you would listen to me on that one. So, there we go. Hopefully that's third time lucky. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Up here, I think, is a subscribe button. If you could hit that, that would be really lovely. Down here, I think, is a like button. Hit that if you want. Here should be a button that says add to, click that, scroll down menu, add to favourites, that would be nice. And leave a comment down below, would really appreciate that. Um, hope you enjoyed this and Rihanna, if you're watching, seriously try harder because this is nonsense and you've got no excuse for crying. That would be, I have had more reason to cry when watching episodes of Top Gear, they have been more emotional than the nonsense that I've just read out. Try harder, you stupid musician. <laughs>